Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video and today what I got for you guys here is, well, some pretty exciting news or at least some exciting news for PlayStation fans. We finally have an exact release date of when Spider-Man is going to be dropping exclusive to PlayStation consoles for Marvel's Avengers. Not only that, but a ton of content is going to be dropping on the same day that Spider-Man arrives into the game and this is content that will be coming to the game for everybody. Do me a favor though before we jump into this, scroll down right now and hit that thumbs up button if you're looking forward to Spider-Man joining the roster in Marvel's Avengers. If you want to keep up to date on this game, especially with Spider-Man on the way, then I've got you covered. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be immediately notified when a video goes live. Lastly, you want a sweet new pair of glasses that are blue light blockers like these right here? Well, then I got you covered on that as well. Scroll down, check out Gamer Advantage, get yourselves a pair, and use code CABOOSE at checkout for 10% off your order. And with all that being said, Let's get into this. Okay, so we got a brand new weekly blog over on the Avengers website, which gives us a new look at the roadmap that we had gotten a couple of months ago. We knew that there was Spider-Man, a claw raid, and a bunch of stuff that was coming by the end of the year, but this new weekly blog gives us an update of the roadmap and gives us an exact date as to when all that content is gonna drop. And surprise, surprise, it's all dropping on the same day. So yes, as you can see here on November 30th, PlayStation users of course are going to get the new hero event with Spider-Man, but there's also going to be the claw raid called Discordant Sound, and there's going to be a power level cap increase, gear upgrading, resource reworks, and so much more coming to all platforms. It says here on the website in regards to the claw raid, teamwork, communication, tactics, you'll want to assemble your best four player squad for this one. Following the events of the War for Wakanda expansion, the Sonic Monster Claw has returned to the Vibranium Mound with a seething determination to destroy Wakanda. This is where you finish him off for good and claim the highest end gear, but he's so not going down without a fight. So yeah, this sounds pretty exciting. I'm a massive Destiny fan, and that was one of the most fun things to do in that game. Gathering a squad of your best teammates or your best friends and playing through one of the raids, figuring out the challenging puzzles, taking out those difficult bosses and going through and seeing the new environments it was always a blast to jump through every new raid that would drop in that game so i hope that the avengers game can sort of emulate just even a small sample sizing of that i don't think they're going to be able to recreate the magic that destiny raids gave players but i hope that there is something in this raid that makes people want to come back every single week because that was the best part about destiny raids you were itching for the weekly reset to get some of those hard to earn rewards or to just play through the raid again because it was that much fun but now on to what everyone i'm sure is here for and that's that spider-man dlc first of all i still don't know why we haven't gotten a full-on reveal of this character we know when he's dropping we know when the character's coming out I don't know why we don't have like a head to toe look at the character, but I imagine considering that Spider-Man is coming to Marvel's Avengers on November 30th, that first look is real, real soon, right around the corner. But here's what it says here on the blog post in regards to Spider-Man. It mentions Spider-Man and the With Great Power Hero event. The iconic web slinger Spider-Man will come exclusively to PlayStation players in the November 30th update, along with the Spider-Man With Great Power Hero event. You'll experience Spider-Man's story through unlockable challenges woven throughout the Avengers initiative. Here's a quick taste of his journey in Marvel's Avengers. Peter Parker uncovers AIM's new plan to acquire technology that can make their synthoid army unstoppable and total domination inevitable. He must partner with the Avengers to stop this looming threat and forms a tentative friendship with Miss Marvel and Black Widow while keeping his identity hidden. As a hero accustomed to working solo, he struggles with the new dynamics of working with a team. Will he join up full time with the Avengers or stay independent in his fight against AIM? Yeah, no, yeah, Spider-Man's gonna stay independent and, and he's just gonna be this one week deal. So of course, Spider-Man's joining the Avengers, come on. And oh boy, I, I don't know how to feel about the description of that story. I like what they're talking about there in him forming a friendship with Miss Marvel and Black Widow. I think that makes a lot of sense. And it's also really cool that he's trying to keep his identity hidden. He doesn't wanna just reveal that that secret to Avengers, but I don't know how to feel about the AIM stuff. We're dealing more again with those robots, with some more AIM bots. I am tired of it. I would like to move on to some different enemy types. The War for Wakanda expansion was a nice refresh on that, but I need a little more. We're getting new enemy types, but those new enemy types, from my understanding, are tied to the raid. So I don't think we're going to see anything like that in the Spider-Man DLC. 
Hopefully we see some Spider-Man villains though. I want to see some members of his rogues gallery in this DLC, but I guess we're gonna have to wait and see on that. There's also some new quality of life fixes and just some reworks coming to Marvel's Avengers with this November 30th update. So they mentioned here in the blog post, new and improved systems, power level increase, the maximum power level achievable will be increased from 150 to 175. Want the best gear? Then you'll have to complete the game's toughest challenge. The new four player claw raid discordant sound is waiting for you. The gear upgrading is being added. You'll be able to recycle gear of a higher power level to upgrade your current gear to match the higher power level of the consumed item with a few exceptions. I think this is something that they're borrowing from Destiny. There's shipments. We've heard your request for a path to earn coveted cosmetics, resources, and other items via gameplay, as well as a place to use your plentiful units. Enter the shipments feature. Each shipment costs 500 units, the currency earned while playing the game, and pulls from a collection of possible items, but you can see what is the current shipment before you buy it with units. There is a small chance of the shipment containing a premium outfit unavailable via any other means of acquisition, but luck isn't required to get the outfit. You'll automatically receive it after claiming 100 shipments. We'll talk about this more in the upcoming weeks. And then there's the per hero weekly objectives, starting with the seeking the super adaptoid mission chain and the claw raid discord and sound. You can farm the weekly rewards once a week for each eligible hero, rather than only one hero per week. We're actively exploring expanding this hero bound system to other current and future activities as well. Happy gear hunting. Some of this sounds pretty good. I like the power level cap increase and I like what they're doing with the gear to have it so that you can take a higher level gear and consume it into a lower level gear to upgrade that lower level gear. This is a system that is very similar or it's already implemented in Destiny. If you've played that game, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It may sound confusing, so you're just gonna have to see it in motion. I'm sure they're gonna showcase video of this very soon. But yeah, finally, an update on some content coming to the game. We've just been getting nonstop cosmetics added to the marketplace that are hella expensive, but now we finally know when some of that free DLC is coming to Marvel's Avengers, and that's right. Everything that I just mentioned that's coming to Marvel's Avengers on November 30th is going to be completely free of charge. The Claw Raid, the Spider-Man DLC that's exclusive to PlayStation, the level cap increase or the power level cap increase, and all that stuff that I just mentioned, it's coming to the game free. But with that being said, that's all the news that I got for you guys today. And now I want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Are you looking forward to the Spider-Man DLC on November 30th? And if you're on other platforms, are you looking forward to all the other content? The Claw Raid, the power level cap increase, the new enemy types, and all that fun stuff. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below. Please keep it civil. If you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider leaving a like rating on it, it would show your support. And I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose, and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel, or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.